it's me hi uh, today i'm just doing a chill q a it's been over a year since i did the last q a which is crazy so this is gonna be real chill real fun real low-key Um, I made a little video on the community tab asking you guys to leave me some questions, and you did. 41,000 questions. <laughs> That's quite a few questions. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna try to answer all the most popular questions. This is gonna be a real talky talky video. I hope you like it. Let's get into these questions. What was your most enjoyable art project? Um. One thing that does stand out in my mind is like something that I just had a lot of fun doing was that jean jacket. It was just really fun painting that big fat cupcake. What is your height? I'm 5'5". Five, five. Would you like some advice on how to model the clothing items you make and sell? Cause I'd be happy to help if you like. My email is linked on my account. That's the friendliest insult I've ever heard. <laughs> Think you should waste your time on me. I'm never gonna be a model. A green and yellow. Oh! Let's just give up on that one right now. What is your favorite chocolate? Yes. What has been your least favorite video to film? The sewing kit review from several years ago. Ugh. It wasn't interesting. It was frustrating. I, yeah, that was probably my least favorite video. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? When I was like 12, I had this friend. We liked to make YouTube videos together. We did these like really... <laughs> that one's wrong, dummy. <laughs> I like pulled out your hairs. <laughs> really bad skits. I actually didn't make my own channel and start posting on my own until years later. I was like 15 and it was one summer. We had just moved. I'm sick, which is, you know, pretty cool. <laughs> So I started making videos again, and I started posting them on YouTube. Basically, just as a way to uh, entertain myself. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my bedroom at 3 o'clock in the morning talking to a computer screen. What is your favorite eyeshadow color? I am not creative with my makeup at all. In fact, I'm not even sure that I'm doing it right. My favorite eyeshadow color would be whatever this is. When did you decide that you were going to create a full-on, full-time professional YouTube channel? Professional YouTube channel. After I graduated college, honestly, all through college, I was just waiting. I was just chomping at the bit to get through school and, and then start my YouTube career because that's all I wanted to do. That being said, I did take school extremely seriously. Straight A's, but um, I hated it. <laughs> did you go to art school or are you self-taught? I went to school for graphic design, which is not really art. It's design. You create logos, you design business cards, you don't have very much creative freedom, but I didn't want to get an art degree because I felt like my art wasn't good enough to be a career artist. Also, I feel like I just didn't really fit into the fine art community. I don't feel like art has to be conceptual or has to be serious to be worth something. What is your favorite form of potato? Like french fries, mashed, etc. This is by somebody called clearly a potato. <laughs> I like french fries. How do you deal with hate if you get any? Yes, of course. I get a lot of rude comments, of course. Getting thousands of opinions about yourself thrown at you, it's like having voices in your head. So many opinions. How do I deal with it? A lot of people try to play it off like they think that rude comments are just funny. Oh, <laughs> I love the haters. But nobody likes to be told rude things about themselves it's not something that i take delight in <laughs> no matter how hard you try there are always going to be people who are rude and who just want to hurt your feelings for one reason or another you just kind of have to get used to it and be your own personal cheerleader like keep pushing on how long does it take to brush your hair
what is your average audience age? Just curious because I'm in my 30s and I'm addicted to your videos. I've got a wide range of ages here. I don't make my content for any age in particular. It's not really age specific. It's just whoever likes this kind of style. All the choices I make in my videos are based on what I like to do. I just do stuff that I like. Have you ever been recognized in public? If so, how long ago and how often? It's not super often, probably like once a month. I don't really draw a lot of attention when I'm in public. I'm like a very unremarkably plain looking person. So I feel like I fly under the radar. Have you ever tried to communicate with spirits? I feel scared suddenly. Does a squishy ghost count? I noticed a lot of questions about my memes. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyway, where did you get the idea of taking bits of your videos and using them as memes? I think it's because I do so many voiceover videos and sometimes there's things that I want to express that are hard to express just with my voice. I don't know, okay. Do you keep a file of memes of yourself? In other words, what's your process for finding those funny little clips? I do keep a folder with all of my with all of my memes in there. I have 431 clips in this folder. Did you ever have any other channels before this one that you maybe deleted? Quat! Yes, I did. Here's here's a story for you. This video is gonna be long. That first summer that I started making videos by myself, collab channels were very big at the time. If you don't know what a collab channel is, it's exactly what it sounds like. Multiple people share a YouTube channel. I really wanted to be a part of one, so I auditioned for, I think, two different collab channels. And this is my audition for one of the spots. And I didn't get chosen. I did not get chosen. They didn't like my audition. Oh. Hey, what's up? I can't imagine why. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, I was low key bitter about it. So I actually like reached out to them and I was like, hey, just out of curiosity, why didn't you choose me? <laughs> they basically told me that I just did too many weird things. <laughs> It was ahead of its time, okay? I have no idea what happened to that collab channel. I don't think it's still around anymore. After I got rejected and my heart ripped out and trampled, I decided, you know what? I am just going to make my own collab channel. So I did. I held auditions and I got a whole 300 subscribers. Thank you so much for my 311 subscribers. I felt like on top of the world. Picked out my people for my collab and a week after it started, one of the members of the, of the collab, I don't know who it was, deleted the channel from the inside. It just poofed, gone. <laughs> Catastrophic failure. And after that, I kind of fell out of love with collab channels. What is one thing you would tell your past self if you could go back in time? Chill out <laughs> and, and tell, tell my, my current, current self, self that, that too. too. I'm a potato, are you willing to become a potato with me? Oh geez, the potato questions are back. Plans in the future? Kids? Continuing YouTube? Other jobs? Etc. Um, the kids question. I do plan on having kids but I don't really have a timeline for that. I am terrified of having kids. I just abs absolutely freaking terrified. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love kids and I just feel like I would just stress about every little thing. Uh, what was the second half of that question? Whew, uh. Continuing YouTube, other jobs. Will I be a YouTuber forever? I don't know. That would be awesome, but YouTube careers aren't always the most reliable or long lasting. I have a degree. I have experience making videos, so I have skills that I could put toward getting another job if this did fall apart. But for right now, I'm just putting my full effort into what I'm doing right now and trying to enjoy every moment that I have this opportunity. Did you have any distinctive interests or collecting habits before you became obsessed with squishies? First of all, for just, just real quick, I sometimes get the reputation of being like the squishy girl or like I'm obsessed with squishies. <laughs> It's not really that I am obsessed with squishies themselves. I'm obsessed with the fact that they are just so perfect for customizing. It's really just the art aspect of squishies that I'm interested in. Yeah, I've had a lot of collections over the years, actually. I'm, 
I'm a collector. The earliest collection that I can remember is Star Wars action figures. I was like seven or eight. <laughs> so. <laughs> How do you feel about other people doing squishy makeovers? There have been quite a few people around YouTube who have tried squishy makeovers or even turned it into their own series on their channel as well. I, I mean, I think it's awesome. I like watching other people do squishy makeovers. It's not as easy as it looks, and there's a lot of things that are more of a struggle at first than you would think. Sometimes watching people struggle is like, ah, like I wish I could jump in there and help you. It's probably how people people feel when they watch me bake, but I do enjoy it, yes. What is Cousin Derp's official name? He's just the derpy cousin. I saw this question like a million times, it's crazy. And if he doesn't have one, could it be Tickle? Tickle? Um, why Tickle? Because it rhymes with Pickle. I don't understand why Tickle would be his name. <laughs> I don't know. Is Tickle even a name? <laughs> For you it is. Okay, you can call him Tickle. Only you. Why did Pickle become the mascot icon of this channel? It kind of just happened? I don't know, okay? Tick- uh, I almost called him Tickle. <laughs> Pickle was one of the most basic makeovers that I did. I've had squishies that I've spent days and days and days on. Then there's Pickle, who I just whipped up in an afternoon. And for some reason, you guys just became obsessed with him. Do you play Animal Crossing New Horizons? Everyone has become freaking obsessed with this game, okay? I keep hearing people say like, oh, all I wanna do now is play Animal Crossing. I am sure that I would love it, but I already have so many things that I want to do that I don't have time to do. I don't wanna form a new addiction right now. Can you bring back the hand intros? <laughs> What this person is referring to is the fact that I used to do my painting video intros with just my hands and all you could see was my hands. I call it hand talk in my mind. I don't think I actually ever said that out loud. There's only so much you can say with your hands, only so many motions you can make. I, I felt like it was just gonna get super repetitive if I kept on going with it. So I moved on from that. And honestly, not many people really even said anything about it, which was shocking because I had been doing it that way for so long. I I switched to doing my intros like in front of the camera and everyone was just like how popular were you in various school years and do you think that that made a big difference in who you are today from second to eighth grade I was in the top three most popular kids in my school because I was homeschooled <laughs> and I have two brothers there's a lot of stereotypes about homeschoolers like that they're weird. Yeah, that's true. I really appreciate having been homeschooled. I went to public school in ninth grade and spent all of high school in public school, which I also am very appreciative of. I think the combination was really good. Was I popular in, in high school? My fingernails look like watermelons. No. No, I was not. <laughs> I wasn't picked on, I wasn't popular. You know, you watch the high school movies and there's like, everyone's in their clique. I don't know what clique I was in. I was an extra. I, I was just like walking around like, ooh, what's going on here? I found one or two friends in each class. I would talk to them in class. And then when school was over, bye, I left. Question, are you gonna put my question in? But for real, can you do another seashell painting session? Quack. You know what? That's not a bad idea, especially considering summer is upon us and seashells, you know. Summer. Wouldn't Cousin Derp be Cucumber because he's Pickle's cousin? Wait, what? Why are there so many questions about Cousin Derp? A cucumber becomes a pickle, so I'm not sure how that relationship works. Just because you have a cousin that's a pickle, does that make you a cucumber? I don't think so. I don't, he's blue. How is he a cucumber? No, this has 41 likes. <laughs> okay, when do ideas strike the most? Either in the shower or while watching something like watching TV or watching a video or something. I have a very short attention span, <laughs> which is why I edit my videos the way I do, because that's the kind of thing that I prefer watching. Like I gotta be, like it's gotta be, ooh, ah, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Half the time when I'm editing, I am just entertaining myself. <laughs> I could sit and make art for 
hours and hours and hours and not be bored. But when it comes to staring at a screen, it's gotta be quick paced or else my mind starts to wander. I find myself coming up with a lot of ideas while I'm watching something that I'm not fully engaged into. Question, do you have any American Girl dolls? Because I have eight and I'm 18. Actually, yes. I loved American Girl dolls when I was a kid. Um, not that you have to be a kid to love them. Don't worry about how old you are or who else has them. Just collect things you want to collect, friend. It's not a big deal. If you were able to be friends with one celebrity, who would it be? Elvis Presley. No, Laura Ingalls. You didn't say they had to be alive. Wouldn't that be awesome to just like bring her into the modern world and just watch the sheer shock and confusion? Look, this is a computer. Also tell her that she needs to start bathing more. Can you please paint your Russian nesting dolls? Oh my gosh. So these have been sitting in my drawer for like two years and occasionally somebody begs me to paint them. <laughs> I will, I will. Do you have a feeling of resistance while using your art supplies? As a broke artist, I literally use teeny tiny bits of paint every time I do art. I have felt like that. I don't feel like that anymore because I came to the discovery that when you're so afraid of wasting something, things just don't turn out because you're like, oh, I don't wanna use my nice paint or oh, I don't wanna use too much of this color and so you substitute. The art doesn't end up turning out all that well and then it kind of feels like a waste. Like the whole thing is a waste. So I kind of got over that and I was like, you know what? Use as much supply as necessary to make this good because that's the least wasteful thing that you can do. Do you know that there's seven colors in the rainbow, not six? People point this out quite often actually, that I am a rainbow fanatic, but I only ever use red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I always skip using indigo, which is what they teach you in school is technically part of the rainbow. I do not acknowledge indigo. It's not that I have a problem with indigo on its own as a color. Having six colors makes so much more sense. It's an even number. You've got three warm colors and three cool colors, and it's just so perfectly balanced. And indigo is just just unnecessarily there for some reason. I don't think it needs to be there. When you're painting squishies or anything in general, do you start on something else while you wait for the paint to dry or do you just wait? Remember that stressed is desserts backwards. Thank you. Um, <laughs> actually, this is something that I get asked a lot. A lot of people are very concerned about my workflow and like how that all works because obviously I edit things in a certain order to make them make sense in the video, but that's not necessarily the order that I did things. If I'm doing a squishy makeover, I don't start one squishy, finish it, and then start the next one and finish it. I'm working on all of them at the same time. The squishy makeovers I'm usually working on over the course of like three, four weeks. I do work on multiple videos at the same time so that I'm filming in the most efficient way possible. I am trying to use like every minute of my day that I can. Why have you never really collaborated with any other YouTubers. I would like to, and that's one of my goals for moving forward. Like I wanna do more collaborations. Why? I think there's a combination of reasons. Um, I don't live in LA. I don't go to a lot of events or like make a lot of appearances. I really value having kind of like a simple lifestyle and I'm kind of just like doing, doing my, my own thing. thing. The art community on YouTube, I don't know them. <laughs> I don't even know if they know who I am. And that's probably my own fault. I'm not blaming anybody. Um, yeah, help. <laughs> Since you've done the tie-dyeing video, have you actually worn any of the clothes? Uh, no, I haven't. I burned all of them. Same thing as last year, a lot of people wanted to know about my husband, Jordan, and whether he will be in videos or not. You know what, that's completely up to him. Also, it makes me kind of nervous because I don't want anyone to be mean to him. <laughs> and that goes for anyone in my family or friends, I would be scared to bring them on my channel because I don't want anyone to be rude to them and I don't want anyone getting the chance to insult somebody that I care about. <laughs> I'm not gonna say he'll never be on my channel, but I'm also not gonna promise that he will be either. <laughs> I don't have a concrete answer for you on that. Question, does two plus two equal fish? Yes, because if you take the twos and turn them, 
it makes a fish. What's your advice for people who are starting YouTube now? Oh, my legs. Ah, if you want to start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel, but make sure that you actually like to make videos. Settle in for a long road of work and time. Nobody is just born knowing how to make a good video. Have you ever gotten stressed about posting a video like, is anyone gonna like this? Have I messed up on the editing? I don't know if this is normal, but I get nervous every time I post a video. <laughs> Friday at four o'clock, I'm like, <sighs> If you've made a mistake in video or you said something that wasn't correct, like most comments aren't even gonna be talking about the video, they're just gonna be talking about that thing that you did wrong. So yeah, I get nervous like, oh my gosh, did I say something wrong in this video? Okay, a lot of questions about different types of merchandise that I'm going to make. Are you going to make merch with Cousin Derp and Pickle? Can you do more Eustace and Shelly merch? I see your guys' request for merchandise. Thank you for all your feedback. I am working on stuff behind the scenes. It just takes time. How how come you didn't answer my DMs? Okay. I, I don't know which DMs were yours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. DMs, my emails. Oh my gosh. 20,000 unread emails right now. I, I, there's no way to keep up with every single message. Not because I don't want to, but because there's just a lot of them. I wish I could respond to everyone, but can't do that. I've got to make videos. So what does Sam do now? I'm pretty sure all of us who have watched your old videos are wondering. So if you haven't watched my old videos, he is my younger brother and he's still my younger brother. <laughs> I do see him on a regular basis and he is in college. Why do you do so much art? Get a life. By the way, I'm subbed, love you. What the heck? <laughs> What is the age difference between you and your husband? He is three years older. Why are you so indecisive? I'm not indecisive. Have you ever thought about painting the walls in your art studio? This is another thing that people just ask on a regular basis. Why don't you paint your table? Why don't you paint your shelves? Why don't you paint your walls? I think it would just be too chaotic. I want to keep the furniture and the walls white in my studio. I don't want to paint a wall that there are paintings hanging on because then it's like painting on top of painting and I would never paint my table because I work on it every week and it would just get chewed up. Does this question annoy you? No. Does this question annoy you? Does this question annoy you? Does this question annoy you? Not starting to. Have you run out of video ideas? Absolutely not. Sometimes people assume that when I do weird things, it's because I'm out of video ideas. If I have a problem with ideas, it's that I have too many ideas. Is Jordan subscribed to you? <laughs> this is from Pickle and Cousin Derp. Yeah. He had better be. Do you swear off camera? A lot of people assume that I don't swear in my videos because I'm trying to be family friendly. Uh, that's actually not the reason though. The reason is because I just don't swear. Yeah. It's not that I'm afraid to swear and it doesn't bother me when other people swear in the slightest. I just don't like to swear. I appreciate not having to censor my speech and just not picking up that habit. It's weird because it's like one of those things that people don't even question. It's just like, why would you even think not to? But just because it's something that everyone does doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I just don't feel the need to. Okay, I've answered a buttload of questions. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions. Sorry if I didn't get around to yours. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.